You know, at this point, I really think Frost could do some good by getting the same lawyer that Chris has and him giving him this giving her the same advice of shutting the fuck up because Frost does just doesn't know when to shut the fuck up. Uh, you know, she she has said her things with uh, G4 and now she's just going after anyone at this point. So, here's Frost. This was yesterday, November 2nd. It's November 3rd. Henry Cavill, who we all know, he's a giant nerd. Uh, from what he said, he almost missed his uh, audition and everything to be Superman uh, because he was too busy playing WoW. That's amazing. Um, Henry Cavill said some very questionable things around Me Too and dated a 19-year-old as a 30-year-plus. Seeing people throw themselves at his feet for the Witcher is weird. The show is whatever at best. Um, and we see the first comments from It's a Gundam. <laughs> oh god, it's Frosk again. So this is what she does. She's mad because she's this aging 30-something year old and no one likes her. So she's going after Henry Cavill who, even though it was 30 plus, he was dating a 19 year old. While yes, there is a gap in the age, 19 years old, they are two consenting adults. You really can't. Is she, is he, is she trying to insinuate something else? Because that's kind of like what it seems like. Oh, well, it's just a little weird and creepy that he's into 19 year olds. He's dating a 19 year old. Maybe he'd go even lower than that. No, a 19-year-old. It's an adult. They're able to vote. They're able to, you know, drive. They're able to... <laughs> they, the only thing they can't do at that moment is uh, drink. Which, quite frankly, I, I, I think drinking age should be raised to, like, I don't know, 52. Especially with the way the fucking kids are. <laughs> and I think even... Uh, an age of being an adult, being considered an adult, should be raised at this point. So, but, uh, <laughs> and, and then we have, have Nerd Erotic. Did he destroy an entire company? Because you did. You want 16 year olds to vote, five year olds to, uh, to get gender, tran uh, to get trend, then, get gender transition but a 19 year old can't date another adult a 19 year old is barely an adult but you do you i guess <laughs> he dated an adult as an adult that's your gotcha my wife is 10 plus years younger than me and our beautiful family must be a travesty in your eyes uh, Cavill said nothing but justified fear of being a celebrity dating during the Me Too movement, and which is perfectly fine because if you remember that Me Too movement thing, it I mean, celebrities left and right, a lot of people lost their fucking jobs due to people like, oh, he, he sexually harassed me, but all it was it was a one night stand that they just didn't like, so they accused the guy of, uh, you know, the R word and sexual assault and this and that. Um, Chris Hardwick uh, was one of them. Turns out he was innocent. He lost his show. He pretty much any deal that he had with anyone else gone. Um, there was the comedian uh, Z Zanzari, I think, right? Girl goes out with him, you know, kind of sleeps with him, regrets it in the morning, suddenly sexual assault. So Henry's saying, oh, yeah, during this whole Me Too movement when you're a celebrity, because it's very clear that they have no problem accusing you of something you didn't actually do. So him saying that, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Sorry, what? 30-year-old dating and 19-year-old is wrong in your book. What about those that almost single-handedly bring down an entire entertainment company? If it means so much, if it means so much, why don't you make a segment on G4? Oh, wait, that's right. Uh, 
That's hilarious. I saw a comment that I... Um... POV, when an aging woman loses all value, they always attack younger women and the men, the men they lost, uh, and the men they lost them to who now hold all the value. She's 31. So she clearly has like no value at this point. Uh, <laughs> want you to do a segment on G for, oh, that's right. I wonder how many of these guys in these replies have actually spoken with a girl that's much younger than them recently. So, <laughs> Frost, let it go. She's, she's not going to let it go. Yeah, who are you to dictate the love between consenting adults? Jealous, that's who she is. So he was in a consensual adult relationship? Horrifying. <laughs> Children can decide transition, but 19-year-old adults can't date other adults. She's right. The show is whatever at best. Even It doesn't matter if it's whatever at best. The fact that she's attacking two, uh, Henry Cavill for essentially no reason, just because... She's pretty, you know, she's still pretty salty. And, I mean, she, she must not have a, a job somewhere else right now, so. It's me, Frost. I gotta get my name out there. So, until I find another job, I'm just gonna have to keep posting shit online and hope that some left-wing media outlet hires me. If I keep rambling about all the stupid shit... You know, all these talking points. And maybe, maybe someone will say, hey, Frost, would you like a job? Because apparently she said that she's done with the gaming, uh, you know, with the commentary and stuff like that. So the gaming world hopefully is gone for her. And uh, she doesn't want it anymore because the gaming world don't want you. <laughs> You're just mad he actually chose to leave his job, unlike you. What he said about Me Too was accurate for somebody in his position as a man with money, and dating a 19-year-old is legal. And unlike him, you destroyed an entire network. Henry Cavill was one of the only great things in the Witcher series. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what I hear a lot of people say. About the Witcher, it was pretty much just like every other fucking um, show and everything you know, pushing their own fucking agenda. But, the um, uh, Henry Cavill was like the one good part about that show. So, <laughs> given the option of a 19 year old or a 30 plus eggless lizard, that harpies, uh, harpies, uh, harpies at their fan base. I'll take the 19 year old. The show is mad because they hired writers just like you. Exactly. Cavill is the only good thing about it. I think you just need to stop being such a bitch. I'm stealing this, but I like... I did give it a like, yeah. Remember, don't steal me without liking them first. 19 is legal age, legal age ma'am. Please stick to video games or whatever it is you do well. She helps destroy companies really well. You sound pretty jealous, not gonna lie. <laughs> so, yeah, Frosk. Again, there's nothing wrong with a 19-year-old dating a 30-plus-year-old. Yes, it's weird. But again, there's that the, the couple, like I said, with TikTok... Uh, the dude's like 20 something and the woman's like 60. Is it weird? Yes. Is it weird that she's old enough to be his fucking uh, grandmother? Yes. Is it illegal and, you know, against the law? No. 
So dating an, a 19 year old, like again, these are the same people like Frost. People think uh, these are the same people who think that kids can transition at like age six when they're children and that 16 year old should be able to vote. So if saying, oh, a little kid knows their freaking uh, sexuality and gender and this and that when they're kids, but here she's uh, oh, 19 years old. <laughs> Um, Frost, just, just, just do us all a favor. Just shut the fuck up. I will be your, I will do it for free. I will be your lawyer. I'm just going to give you some advice. I will give you some advice and I hope you take it to heart. Just shut the fuck up. Just that thing, just your mouth, close it. Those appendages, uh, just stop using them. Stop coming on Twitter. Just just keep your comments to yourself because obviously you're looking for attention because you're still bitter. Well, actually not still bitter. You are bitter. <laughs> you are bitter, but just, just stop. Just shut the fuck up. Henry Cavill didn't bring down a company. Henry Cavill is quite a good person he's like the uh, he, he he's like chris pratt he's just a really nice guy uh of course chris pratt gets a lot of hate henry cavill i haven't heard really one bad thing about henry cavill again this is the same guy who almost missed being superman because he was busy playing wow you know he goes out there for fans you know he goes out of his way for fans you tell fans to shut the fuck up and that if you don't like it then don't watch it peace so, you're a cunt, he isn't. So, sounds like just might be a little jelly, bro. Are you jelly, bro? It sounds like you're a bit jelly. You want some peanut butter and some bread to go with that? He's a good person. You're not. He doesn't go on stage and rant about uh sex sexism oh god sexism in gaming sorry i'm not as bangable as some of these other guys and again he doesn't tell people if you don't like it then don't watch it so frost you can just be your salty self be that salty self but just shut the fuck up. Go do it somewhere else with people who actually give shit. And just leave Henry Cavill alone. He hasn't done anything to you or anyone else. Just let him be that amazing man he really is. And isn't he coming back as Superman? Uh, they're making another Superman movie and he's, uh, they've offered him the role. It'd be good to see him as uh, Superman again. But, um, Frosk. Anything else that she's she said lately? Uh, let's see. Hunger Games still slaps. Oh, wait, uh, a lot of dudes out here thinking dating a teenager when you're 33 is totally fine because it's legal. Yeah, it can be fine, but it can also be pretty fucked up pretty fucking quick. A lot of self-reports. Well, Oh no. Oh no. Because Gina Carano, who's complete fucking badass, she's also not liked in Hollywood because she doesn't go with everyone else. So what, she dated Henry Cavill? Oh no. Frosk, you're 30 something years old. Is aren't actually no, you're not too old. Unfortunately, you're never too too old to be this fucking petty. Going after Henry Cavill, done no harm. And then oh, he dated another person I don't like. I'm just a big fucking bitch. 
Exactly. Gina Carano is fucking amazing. A heart of gold and fists of iron. Yeah, she used to be, what, an MMA fighter? <laughs> what exactly is your issue with Gina? Because the Twitter mob told her Gina is bad. And people like Frost clearly live on live on and for Twitter. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Well, as of the lawyer for Frost, I simply tell her, shut the fuck up. If you guys were her lawyer, what would be something you tell her? I'd love to hear it. Uh, <laughs> I have some ideas. Some of them not good. I can fix her. <laughs> I'd love to see that comment. Anyways, that's going to do it for me. You guys know. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.